Just a quick thing before the weekly update starts, um, on Much Games Guides, uh, one of the collabs that I'm part of, uh, we're going to be starting the uh, Hall of Fame 2013 voting starting tomorrow, June 1st. Uh, the video announcing it is going to be in the description. Please, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you are subscribed to the channel, check out the video. The voting is going to be fun. It's always, uh, you know, the members uh, put forth a bunch of games to vote on uh, and uh, you know, whatever wins eventually will go into the uh, Much Games Hall of Fame, and it has a chance of being Let's Played on that channel by one of us. So uh, check it out, check out the people on Much Games, things like that. Once again, in the description, please, you should try it out. Hello everybody, it's Several Level 4 for another weekly update. I have the microphone over here, so I'm going to start leaning here and back and forth, but... Oh boy... So, yeah, you saw me last, in the weekly update form anyway, more than a week ago, um, because last Sunday I wasn't going to be around, so I made the update a little earlier. So, what was supposed to happen this past week was trying out a new type of treatment. Uh, it didn't go well. Follow me on social media, you know it did not go well in the slightest. Uh, so I'll talk about that in a little bit. First of all, let's just get scheduling and things out of the way. Um, I currently have, in terms of videos, I'm really sorry that we missed uh, Let's Create for two weeks now. Like I said, I don't want that to happen, but things just keep happening. <laughs> uh, I was not in any shape to do anything last week, and I do apologize. Um, but yeah, we got... Um, we have, uh, this coming week, I have one Nino Kuni still pre-recorded, so that will come in, you know, on Monday, and I'm going to use Monday to record and, and, and everything, so, uh, we should have videos this week, and next week, and hopefully the week after. I'm going to try to record a lot this week. Uh... In terms of uh, content, last week there were a few Nino Kunis. If you haven't watched, I know that people have kind of been dropping that series, but it's getting good. Just watch, please. I'm still tired. I woke up not too long ago. <laughs> I can't do like my full ee yet. I'm trying to keep my eyes open. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so Nino Kuni's coming up, we're gonna have wonderful what a what continuing. Um, I didn't, also, I, I wasn't able to do a, um, a Top 13 video last week, or record for Diamond and Pearl Versus, <laughs> or do, uh, uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I didn't do, like, anything last week, which was supposed to be, like, a recovery week for me, or at least, like, a good week. So, all that's going to start happening again, I promise you. Um, so, yeah, so the, um, uh, just in terms of, like, stuff that I got this past week, there was a loot crate before, after, sometime having, I think before the, uh, the weekly update? No, it was after the weekly update. There was a loot crate video. It was really bad lighting. Right, it was it was Monday or yeah Monday night. There was a loot crate video. Um, so one of the things I got was this really cool T-shirt um, with Power Rangers. Uh, I like Power Rangers. I like the original Power Rangers. It was kind of campy, but that's the whole point, isn't it? Uh, so that was fun. Also, this past Friday, actually, let's talk about Puzzles and Dragons. Puzzles and Dragons came out, and I got it this past week. I have not played it. I played the demo in the eShop. I haven't played it yet. My little brother has it, um, and he assures me that Puzzles and Dragons Z Plus, or whatever it's called, Z, Puzzles and Dragons Z, the plus is just the second game. Just trying to think of the case. Um is really good, has good puzzle elements, good RPG elements, so it's good stuff. Good stuff all around. Also, last Friday, Splatoon came out. Splatoon is fantastic. Fantastic. I am enjoying every second of it. And, 
I'm not usually like the online shooter type of thing, but I'm enjoying it a lot. I like the fact that my friends actually have it this time because usually the problem with these shooters is that I'm just playing round after round with people I don't know, and that's just not fun. Last night there was a live stream for uh, Splatoon that I made. Yes, live streams. I do those every like five months. Although I used to do it a lot more frequently. I'm going to try to do another one this week, but it depends if you guys bother me on social media or not. You have to bother me because otherwise I'm just going to be like... That's the actual, like, that's what I actually do. I'm just like... Nobody likes me. Um, social anxieties. But, um... Yeah, so, so Splatoon is fun. You know, you're a kid now, you're a squid now. I love just singing that again and again to annoy people. Um, there's a lot of things about the game I love. I would do like a review video, but there have been like 5,000 of them already. This has been like one of Nintendo's most overhyped games. Um, and uh, so far I love it though. Apparently there's a um, there's an update coming out in August that's going to add more features and things, and I wasn't really paying attention to that uh, Nintendo Direct when they announced it, honestly. Um, but uh, it's going to be fun. Also, I got the Amiibo 3 pack. We'll talk about the Amiibo hunting adventures in a minute, but I had ordered the Amiibo 3 pack from Best Buy a while ago. And they shipped it out, and it actually came on Friday, so I was like, wow, timing. But, uh, so we got the, uh, Inkling here. I call him Inke, you know, like the Pokemon. I also call things, like, with the Pokemon, there's, there's, like, an Inkzooka that I just call Octazooka, but the detail, these are some of my favorite amiibo. The detail on these are fantastic. Um, it's also a little bendy, it has some give to it, so it won't, like, snap if you drop it or whatever. Like, I'm scared that some of my amiibo will do. Um, but, yeah, so this this is just, you know, fantastic. We have a uh, squid girl. It's not squid girl. But, um, again, there's, like, you know, they have, like, a little thing in the tank there. Um, it's, like, a little splat on the bottom. She had, like, I don't know, she had an accident or something on the on the base there, but... Uh, the face is just a uh, nice detail, the the hair, the little tentacle thing, and the the splatter shotgun are just very nice. I think that's a splatter shotgun. I don't know. I'm not good with the names. I just give them my own names. Paint roller, shotgun, sniper rifle, just whatever role they are. Machine gun. And we got the Inkling Boy, uh, who's also pretty nice. Personally, I play as the girl because I think the character just looks better. But it's whatever your preference is. But yeah, the detail is very nice. So again, it's, it's bendy. It has a little give to it. Um, it's not too heavy. I think that this is hollow in some capacity. It doesn't feel entirely solid. But um, just the textures are nice. The gun isn't just a solid piece of plastic. It's it's clear. The little thing in the, of ink is clear. And it's just uh, like lots of little details. I like I like how they make it how they made it. So yeah, so Friday was uh, everybody's amiibo hunting adventures. Um, I was not able to get any of the amiibo in store. Um, I already had a pre-order on Pac-Man and Wario from Best Buy from a while ago, so those are in the mail right now. Um, Greninja, someone is sending to me. Thank you, Jacket K. You are awesome. Uh, Jigglypuff, I have not gotten yet. I'm probably going to go to eBay for that. I have a thing with the Amiibo. I will buy it from those bleepity bleep scalpers, but I will not pay more than $30 total per Amiibo. And so far, I have all the Amiibo except for Robin Ness and, um, and Jigglypuff, and I have not paid $30, more than $30 for any of them. That includes, you know, Wii Fit Trainer, Marth, and Villager. So, some of them, like Villager, I'm just waiting, like that one, that one, the, the price just got out of hand. I'm just waiting for some of them to, like, go in stock on Play Asia, let's say. Um, Jigglypuff, I feel like I'm not going to have an easy time, so I might just go on, uh, unless somebody here wants to sell me a Jigglypuff Amiibo. 
um, you know, I will pay up to $30, including shipping, $30, which includes the shipping price for that. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to pay more than that. But, uh, uh, I need, I need Ness. Robin, I think, is going to be coming back in stock on, like, Play Asia or something at some point, so I'll, I'll wait for that. But Ness and Jigglypuff are going to be hard to get. Um, like, the, the game stuff by me had, like, one Ness that, that they got, but, like, 20 of the Silver Marios. It was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so, I was able to get, um, uh, Amazon had, like, a, an online thing, so I was able to get Lucina off of that in, like, the one second that it was still in stock. Um, I ordered Charizard from this site called Tiger Direct, which I'm not too sure that it's going to go through because I got Lucina and Charizard from them and then they promptly canceled Lucina. So Charizard hasn't been canceled yet, so I'm holding my breath on that. Um, and I think that's it. But yeah, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> Uh, just amiibo hunting. I know some people think that the amiibo, like, the whole amiibo thing is just ridiculous, and I do agree, it is ridiculous, and it's kind of ridiculous the fanaticism that some people have. Um, I'm not doing it just because I have to have it. I'm doing it because I use all the characters, and especially Jigglypuff I was looking forward to, because Jigglypuff is one of my mains in Smash Bros, and I was going to just clean up with her. I was just going to turn that thing into, like, a Ganondorf. I was going to give it, like attack and defense but low speed and just turn Jigglypuff into this this monster level 50 Jigglypuff amiibo that you hit and it just makes it angry oh it'd be glorious um so yeah that's that, that that's gonna be fun when I get it so yeah I do use all my amiibo um the the Splatoon amiibo are very fun essentially you have a, a one player mode in Splatoon and so far, it's you know three levels and then a boss, three levels and a boss. It seems, um, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, so what each of the amiibo does, it unlocks a different challenge for that. Like uh, the Inkling challenges are for each of those three levels and the boss level, with a specific thing. Like the Inkling is a speed run, and you get like um you get like a power up that lets you just kind of breeze through everything. But it's essentially you speed run all the levels. And when you complete, you know, the set of three levels plus the boss, you get, um, you get, uh, like a cool piece of armor that has like lots of slots for upgrade and things like that. Um, and the, but you can only access these things once you've actually beaten it in the main story and things like that. So, um, the, and I've only other, I've only played the, the inkling and the boy, the boy gives you like the, the giant paint roller to go through all the levels, which is very different. Um, so yeah, that's fun. I could keep talking about this. But yeah, so the Amiibo Adventures are, are a thing. Um, a lot of people have been going kind of crazy, and I do admit that it is, it is kind of out of hand with some people, but I find it, I, I just think it's fun. It's the thrill of the hunt! Um, so yeah. <laughs> so, on to other things. On to other things. Hold on one moment. Sorry about that. Put the mic back over here. Just have to go do something. Um, so yes. Now for the health part of our program. <sighs> this this past week was, was really bad. I have to say. Um, first on the good side of things. Um, so far the, uh, the newer chemo that I've been getting doesn't seem to have knocked out the hair that started regrowing. You can't really see because the video is bad quality but I have little wisps of a beard you can see I have eyebrows of some sort it's also just a little thing in the hair here in the back there's a little growth can't really can't really see can't really see it I can feel it and that's the th that's the thing I mean the main thing is the eyebrows you don't know how much you miss eyebrows until they're gone believe me believe me um but so that's the only good thing so usually this is it's it's grown to the point where this is like where it starts falling out but I don't have chemo for another week so maybe I don't know maybe it'll grow a little longer before it has to fall out or maybe this is just not strong enough to start you know hitting things out and maybe it'll start growing back 
I don't believe that for a second, but it's a possibility. The only thing is that the just because of the hats and yarmulkes I wear, there's like a, a bald patch right in the center here. Like, you have the hair here and in the back, and then nothing right in the middle, but that's life. <sighs> it's a metaphor for life. You have hair in the front and the back and nothing in the middle. I don't know. Um, but this past week was terrible. So between the last weekly update and now, there was a you know, Memorial Day weekend. There was a Jewish holiday during there. And it wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, I was still recovering from the chemo. So I wasn't able to do much. But um, I got um, got around a little bit, I guess. Um, starting that Tuesday, this past Tuesday... I was supposed to start a, um, or I did start, um, a new treatment that I was going to be taking on the off weeks, the non-chemo weeks. It was, um, you know, a different, different drug targeted to different stuff. Um, and so the first day I got a bigger dose of it because it's, you know, it's called loading dose and it goes on. Um, so, you know, one of the things it does, one of the side effects of this bigger dose is that it has, it gives you aches and pains. You know, muscle aches and, and bone bone aches and stuff. So, you know, it's kind of like the feeling you get when you have the flu or, you know, uh, arthritis -y type of thing. So I got that, and it didn't feel particularly good, but, it, you know, I got through the day. The next day, I get the regular dose, and uh, so, this is, so, so Tuesday, I just wasn't feeling well. I wasn't able to do anything. Um, Wednesday, I go in, and I take the regular dose, and for the rest of the day. Also, like, the, the insurance company's just been jerking us around. They finally approved everything on Friday, but I had to keep going into the hospital just to get a bunch of pills and then leave. Uh, and this is in Philadelphia, so it's over an hour drive away, and so it's back and forth every morning. It's really stupid, and so the insurance company was like, well, we're not going to approve it, and we're going to ask you to call us back to get a time to let us know when to call you, and uh, we'll approve three of the medications, but not the fourth one, and, 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 and oh, God. Um, so, yeah, so Wednesday I go in, I take the regular dose, I come back home, and I'm just feeling lousy. And the main thing is that my chest feels like it's going to explode. Every time I move, um, my my um, pulse just starts going out of control. Like, I could just feel my heart going, ba 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 Like, you can, like, hand up against my chest. You could just feel the heart pounding its way around. And, like, you know, if you would... Uh, you can't really see it now, but like looking, looking in, um, you know, in a mirror or something, you just see my, my uh, carotid artery just like pulsing, pulsating out my neck. Just, it's just like, uh, but the main thing was that it was one of the most painful experiences of my life. And it was consistently painful the entire day, the entire day. Uh, and, um, so I have some, uh, prescription painkillers here that weren't helping at all. They were like, it would make me drowsy and I'd kind of fall asleep for an hour or so, but the pain did not leave. So I spent the entire day there just in agony, just unable to move and just curled up in the fetal position the entire time. If you're following me on social media, you or could see the chronicles of my continued pain exploits. So yeah, I wasn't able to make any videos or anything there, obviously. Thursday, um, we go in, and I don't, I obviously don't take the medication on Thursday, uh, and they're trying to figure out what to do with me, because the pain doesn't work, I'm dehydrated, uh, so they had to give me IV fluids, and, um, uh, finally they go with an anti-inflammatory, a really strong anti-inflammatory, um, it's like super ibuprofen type of thing. And that finally starts calming it down. And the pain there was was almost, before they gave me that, was almost too much. And I almost got admitted to the hospital because of it. Because if you're in, you know, un, uh, you know, un, uh, workable pain, they kind of make you go into the hospital. So I was like, no, I don't want to go. We're going to be there all weekend now. But luckily that thing worked. And as the day went by, I was feeling a little better. But every time I would stand up or whatever... Uh, like when I would be sitting like this 
and not doing anything, then, you know, I wouldn't really feel it if I were to stand up, you know, because you have to, your heart has to work faster when you're actually moving. Uh, you know, I would just feel again, don't, 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 don't. It's just like, ah. But, you know, I've been pay- taking ibuprofen every six hours since then. And it's finally started calming down today. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, so they decided to give me the following, this coming week off um, from taking anything. And then the following week, we're going back for more chemo. and uh, Or I'm going to actually be taking it at home. Finally got approved for me to take it at home. So I'll be able to sleep a bit more, which is nice. Uh, and, you know, we're just going to be able to... It's just going to be, it's going to be nicer. And we're going to have to discuss what the heck to do now because this completely derails everything that we've been trying to go for because um, the symptoms that I experienced were the first recorded for those drugs. Um, they, you know, they, they have like, you know, it's supposed to have a milder type of thing, but they said they never saw anybody that got as bad as I did. So they're really not sure what to do at this point. So... You know, we have other options for treatment right now, but they haven't been discussed with us yet. Like, they're still trying to just choose amongst themselves, because this was, like, supposed to be what we were supposed to do, so. <sighs> but um, it was really bad. Last week, I, I thought that my heart was going to burst, like, literally, and I would just die. Um, it's also... Sh- shows that I don't have any aneurysms anywhere because those definitely would have burst. Um, so that's kind of nice. But uh, yes, it was not a fun experience. I don't suggest I don't suggest that for anybody. Um, so yeah, this week I'm going to be recording, but it's also going to just be a relaxing week. <laughs> and hopefully hopefully in the coming weeks we'll have better better stuff. Um so yeah, uh, let's see, to end it off on something nicer, I have no idea, <laughs> Pokemon Shuffle's been getting fun, um, let's see, no, I don't have anything, I don't have anything here that I haven't talked about yet, you're a kid now, no, 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 that's just wrong, um, but yeah, so in the coming week, look forward to more content coming back you can't really tell but the um they textured the skin a little bit which is also nice um look forward to content coming back oh there was a nintendo direct in japan today and they announced a chibi robo amiibo for a chibi robo game that's coming out on the 3ds new 3ds chibi robo amiibo and it's the most adorable thing go go google that that is what I'm going to end off with. Chibi Robo Amiibo. There's been several until before with the weekly update. Hopefully next week we'll have better things to talk about. Goodbye everybody. Bye bye.